The past week was an interesting week in the world of AI. There were some updates that could make freelancers and agency owners work faster, design better and plan efficiently. But there were also some scary incidents in robotics that makes us wonder about the safety of our future. In this video, I'll break down why these updates matter and how you as a freelancer can take maximum advantage of it. Hi, this is Divyanshi, a real human and not an AI avatar, and you are watching The Cutting Edge News. And you're about to be updated on everything that happened in the world of tech and AI this week. You can now create videos using text and emoji because Google just launched VO2 in Gemini Advanced. To use it, log on to gemini.google.com or download the Gemini app. Sign up for Gemini Advanced, which costs $20 or about 1700 rupees per month. If you're a student in the US, you can have free access to this till 2026. Select VO2 from the model drop-down menu to write your prompt, first write your subject, then action, and then composition. For example, Labrador driving a spaceship eye-level shot in 50mm. You don't even need to add very specific camera composition unless you want something very specific because models are now pretty independent. This is great for people in creative fields because social media freelancers can generate video storyboards, promotional videos, creators can use it to generate B-rolls and other video assets. Motion designers and photographers can use it to visualize camera angles and lens choices, especially if they need to pitch concepts to a brand. UX designers can prototype micro-interactions or app store previews. We've already covered this in our previous video, but in case you missed it, you can now ask ChatGPT questions by sending a voice note on WhatsApp. You instantly search on the internet or to fact-check anything, to translate sentences into multiple languages, to convert currencies or do micro-calculations. This is especially important for parents who are juggling multiple tasks, grandparents who don't really use laptops a lot, people with disabilities and professionals who are in between travel. This QR will directly open a chat on WhatsApp with ChatGPT. Speaking of AI on phones, Perplexity launched its voice assistant that can directly be accessed through voice just like Siri. It can find restaurants and make reservations for you, book cabs, play YouTube videos, play songs from Apple Music, podcast from Apple Podcasts, send emails, do deep research and even translate sentences in multiple languages. You can now have the access by downloading the Perplexity iOS app on iPhone and Android. Google Notebook LM can now generate a podcast-like conversation in Hindi and 50 other languages. This feature is called Audio Overview and how it works is you upload a research document or a book into Notebook LM and ask it to generate an audio overview, which basically means that it'll generate a podcast-like conversation between two hosts and explain the entire research to you. This is great for people who want to learn through audio instead of reading. And with this latest update, it will be able to explain research topics in Hindi and 50 other languages. You can access this by going to notebooklm.google.com. They're also integrating this on an app that goes live on 20th May 2025, which is the day of Google I.O. 2025. But you can pre-register now on Android and iOS. Midjourney launched Omni Reference in V7 and the internet has been going absolutely crazy. Here are some pictures. An Omni reference basically allows you to put characters, objects, vehicles, logos, architecture, even fantasy creatures from a reference image into your images in mid-journey. This can be used in graphic design, who can now generate consistent characters in a comic book or storyboard and transfer styles from multiple images. In social media marketing, to generate professional-looking product pictures for ads and posters, they've also introduced a multi-character setup. For example, you have a group photo, you can literally decide the action, expressions or clothes you want for each person. In similar news, Runway ML launches a new feature called References that can help you maintain character consistency in multiple angles, outfits, locations and lightings. In fact, you can even save the character by giving it a name and use it anytime. Here's how. If you want to save a reference to use later, you have to just hover over the image and give it a name. Then, when you are writing a prompt, you can call it up by typing at the rate name. For example, you can say, create a new shot of dash character X walking through the same woods at night. 
Right now, references work best for characters and locations. They're still working on having this for objects and art styles. Ideograms 3.0 has also introduced consistent styles, improved image prompt alignment, photorealism, and text rendering quality. Apart from consistent characters, you can use it to create creative designs, including generating stylized and accurate text and layout generation graphic design, advertising, and marketing. Brand graphics, including logos, posters, landing page concepts, product photography especially for small businesses this is a great opportunity for graphic design freelancers and agency owners to scale their businesses stunning realism ideogram is great at creating images that look absolutely ethereal look at some of the images people have created you can use ideogram 3.0 right now on the web in the ios app and even through the api at developer.ideogram.ai if you are building your own tools. Google's medical AI, AMIE, can now examine patients and analyze lab reports just like a real doctor. The new multimodal AMIE can ask for, interpret, and reason over photos of rashes, ECG traces, lab reports, or x-rays while it's still talking to the patient, something no mainstream medical chatbot does today. South Korean researchers developed a liquid robot capable of changing its shape, which would allow it to pass through narrow gaps. This this could be very helpful for rescue missions, surveillance, and medical procedures. A robotics company in China developed an exoskeleton that can help users lift up to 30 kgs of weight. This technology aims to help caregivers who usually need to support their patients' weight. Another news from China, a robot has been seen spraying pesticides to crops. This can be a game changer for the agriculture industry, reducing the need for manual labor and increasing efficiency. A horrifying video has been circulating the internet where a robot can be seen attacking human researchers. There's no concrete news on what's the issue or if it was an actual incident that happened, but this is not the first time a robot has been recorded hurting a human. Currently, AI is online in our phones and laptops, but we will see a future where AI will be given a physical form. Can safety regulations protect us? Are we truly prepared for the next wave of AI? My name is Devanshi and you are watching The Cutting Edge News.